that uh, God has been good to me. You see me standing here and I'm walking around on these good legs, but my friend and sister, she can tell you I was in a wheelchair for three long years. I was paralyzed. I had an aneurysm on the brain. A vein burst in my brain. Doctors gave me up to die. But how many know God is a healer? I said, how many know God is a healer? God healed me and I went in a 10 year period from the bed to the wheelchair to the walker to the cane. Dropped my cane in 2006, started walking, started running after five surgeries on my legs and got in my right mind. How many know God is a healer? Well, since that time I've sung a lot of songs and recorded a lot of records and I'm gonna do one for you right now. I'm gonna go to the country and sing a song that said, I know my Redeemer lives. Come on, put your hand together. My Redeemer lives. Said that I know. Yeah, yeah. My Redeemer lives. I was paralyzed in the wheelchair, but look at it. I can feel it. Every day.
right now. I didn't know y'all was out there. Amen. Was that all right? Okay, good, good. Listen, I got two young men here. And I want to do a quick announcement. I brought two friends along with me. Two prestigious friends. Come here, Dan. Young man named Danny. Brother Danny has been around the music business for years. Promoted gospel, R&B, but his favorite love is gospel, but he's done it all. He's done it all. This is none other than, what, what city you live in, Dan? <laughs> I live in a city, I live in the country on Bubba Taylor Road in Bahia, Mississippi. I'm a country boy and I'm from the Ames Plantation in Grand Junction, Tennessee. Anybody know what that is? <laughs> Bam does. Look, I thank Mr. Paul Pauly for allowing us to come and the reason he asked me to come up. Uh, and I didn't know that I was coming down here for this get out and vote rally, but I am a stickler for voting. My grandparents, my mom, my aunt, my uncles, they all gave their life in the 50s and 60s uh, for the right to vote. So I'm gonna encourage all you young people that don't think that voting in the political process is serious, please get out and vote. Vote for whoever you believe in, but exercise your right to vote. Do y'all believe in that? Keep it rolling. All no. right, okay, so now listen, young people, maybe we need to get down here and get some of these rappers out here to get y'all interested. Do y'all want to see Ray Sherbert come back to town? Yeah. What about money bag, yo? Yeah, y'all yeah, like that, right? But listen, I'm, I'm going to introduce a young man to you tonight that Paul Porter gave the opportunity to. And this is why, young people, that you need to be serious about life. At the age of 18 years old, he was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Paul found him on YouTube playing his guitar, sitting in his bedroom, singing Mr. Lee Williams' song, I Can't Give Up. Paul reached out to him, gave him an opportunity to travel around the country with him. And uh, he introduced him to us and our friend, Mr. Ferris Evans Jr., a long time friend and I got together and we did a record on this young man. And at this time, I want to introduce you to Mr. Kaderis Price. He's gonna help Paul Porter out, but we want y'all to give him a hand. He survived cancer, stage four, at the age of 18 years old. Young people, you better take life serious because it's short. And uh, I'm glad and I'm happy to be here with Paul. These two men are a testimony. And I'm down with them, like four flat tires, okay? And we're going to travel this country and be a, 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 a testimony to God's healing power, okay? Y'all give my friend Mr. Paul put a hand as he come back to you. Right before you go, Danny. This is Danny Lewis, and I want everybody to look him up. You can go to Danny Boy. Go ahead and tell him something. Let's see if you can get that mic on the okay? Two, two. You can go to DannyBoyEntertainment.com. Oh, okay. They got these fancy mics now when we used to just walk up and everybody sing on one mic. You remember that, Bam? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Danny Lewis, on Instagram at DannyBoy1265. You can go to my fan page at Danny Boy Entertainment fan page. And also Mr. Kaderis Price. We are releasing three maxi singles next week. One for inspirational one for traditional and one for gospel quartet. And the reason we're doing that has never been done before. We're releasing six songs at one time. This young man is so talented and so anointed. And if you haven't heard of him, you're gonna hear from him before Paul leaves here today. And again, give my friend, Mr. Paul Porter and Kaderis Price a hand. And let me say this and then I'm gonna go ahead and say something that y'all familiar with. But this young man, the end of his story was he was 18 when I hired him on Facebook. He was so talented, I didn't even audition him. And now he's 20, 23, but inside of 18, he didn't know at 19 he was going to be stricken with stage four cancer. He survived it, lived through it, toured with me two years, and now he's standing here 23 years old, a healed young man of stage four cancer. Y'all scream for that. Now I'm gonna sing a song, and I'm gonna dedicate this to Brother Moore since he invited me. And this is old school. If you don't know this, you don't know Paul Porter. Woo! I got 
somebody that's going to help me say it. Whoa, I'm getting ready Get that mic to this To share something with you
fly away to be at rest. Let me tell you something. About mm, 2018, no, 14. How many years ago is that big brother Moore counting for me? I just been 10 years, 2014, seven years. Seven years ago, I can't do my math. Seven years ago, I was on Motown Records. Anybody know who that is? Uh, talking about Stevie Wonder, the Jacksons, and all that. So Motown, when they Hello. signed me, they asked me, can you do a Hello. song like The Temptations? I said, hey, why would I want to do a song like The Temptations? Come but I want to be me. And I said, I got something to put you in the mind of the old we're school Temptations. Yeah, I stage. already sang it. Back in the day, can I do it for you a little bit now? Come on, everybody, put your hand together. We get ready to groove on this one. And I dare about 10 people uh, in Timupo uh, to uh, get yeah. up and clap your hands. Do you there anybody that loves uh, to love? songs in a row. I'm taking Jared Tar with iron. I don't know if it's any new schoolers out here, but somebody next to him that's an old school to educate them, tell them what that is. When you get a piece of sausage and one piece of chicken, you get out of breath quick. I'm an old schooler. But listen, 
I want to go on and do another number. And this number means a lot to me because when I was sick, God blessed me. It's called You Did I Trust. Rance Allen and I went all over the country for many years. And Rance Allen passed away and I lost like a father. It hurt me. I had to sing at his funeral before thousands of people. But anybody know who Rance Allen is? Song with Kirk Franklin, the song that says, Something about the name G. Something about the name G. It is the sweetest name. Y'all gonna join in? I know. Oh, I love. Hey. Oh, oh, I love the name G. It is the sweetest I know. I know. That was dedicated to Red Helen up the book. Yeah. I'm gonna do a song now. Yeah. It says you that I trust. Come on, brother. Now if you don't know this, I'm gonna sing this in memory of Red Helen. I'm gonna I might try to sound a little bit like it. And I will trust in you. With all of my heart, hey, with all of my heart, I'm not grasping. Say you still gonna have some problems. Can I get a witness? Thank you, Lord. You may be up today and feel like you don't need nobody and don't even need Jesus, but some 
somewhere down the line you could be down tomorrow. Can I get a witness? Well, it bleeds my heart every time I sing this because of my partner, Bishop Rance, is gone. But he told me, Paul, every time you sing this song, tell that person next to you, say, whatever you're dealing with, you can't handle it no way. Everybody take your hand and say,